my name is Sheikha and I'm a Montessori teacher at Les Land. And today I'm going to show you the practical life area of the Montessori curriculum. Practical life area is one of the five areas of the Montessori curriculum and the most popular one. You might be wondering, what is practical life? Yes, as the name suggests, practical means basic, useful or anything purposeful and life is a way of living. Most of the practical life activities are designed which the child witnesses daily in his home or in his environment, in his surroundings and it's very pleasing to the eyes and it uses all practical materials like cups, saucers, tongs, tweezers and things which you find in your kitchen and around your house. Okay, practical life exercises are actually divided into four. The first one are the preliminary exercises, which are the basic folding, carrying of a mat, pouring of water, spooning, threading, etc. The other ones are the applied exercises. Applied exercises are mostly for the care of self and care of environment. Under these, we introduce washing of hands, combing of hair, sweeping the floor, and when it comes to care of the environment, gardening, planting, watering the plants, and many more. The other kind of exercises which we introduce are grace and courtesy. Grace and courtesy are mostly exercises related to manners. So how do we say thank you, please, and so on. Also, we have exercises for refining control and coordination of a child's body movements, like walking on the line, walking with an object on the head, or walk with a flag, and these kind of movement exercises help the children develop their posture. Now, let me introduce you to some basic practical life exercises. Here, right in front of me, I've got a pouring exercise. I've got two cups with handle, and we, what we do is we wrap our fingers and pour from the cup which is full to an empty one. Now, this might look like a very simple exercise for an adult, but children love doing this because they are not worried about the end result. They love the process of the exercise and they repeat often. And these exercises help children gain independence. Later on when they are pouring their juice for themselves or pouring ketchup from the ketchup bottle and so on. Now, apart from pouring, we also introduce spoon. We take the spoon and we transfer the material. It's very important that a teacher uses very graceful movements as the child watches and we tilt the bowl at the end so that the material comes easily in the spoon. We make sure about all these minute details so that the child has control of error for all the activities. It is also important how the child carries the tray in practical life. We always encourage the child to hold the tray with its, firmly with its two hands and take the tray from the shelf onto the table and even when placing the tray use as much less noise as possible. It is not trial for a teacher to correct a child in the middle of an activity. Instead, you can use other ways, like if you see a child actually handling some dishes very noisily, you can just say, listen, let me try and keep the cup gently. Would you like to have a try too? That will really boost the confidence of a child.